Firefighters in Kentwood have their hands on new technology now that officials say will save lives. This machine is designed to help rescuers performing CPR. And the fire chief says it has a proven track record. 24-hour news ace Leon Hendricks went to the fire station today to show us how it works. Leon? Susan, good afternoon. It's the hard part of CPR, the heavy-duty task of chest compressions. Humans have to switch out about every two minutes if they're doing it right, but not with this new tool in tow. It is technology that the rank and file at the Kentwood Fire Department have been excited to get. Oh, they've been waiting for them. A federal grant paid for most of four of these. They are called automatic external chest compression devices. They're about $15,000 each. A price tag the deputy fire chief in Kentwood says is worth it, especially since in total, less than $6,000 in local funding was used. The fire department showed us how they work. Then the device attaches to a board placed under the patient. Bring the cup down where we want it, press it to set, and that's it. The older versions of the device were large, clunky, and difficult to use, but these fit in a backpack and are easily accessible. The training on how to use them was quite simple, and now they're on the road. We've run three calls, I think, with Collerville. Collerville has one of these, um, and we've gone on three calls with them, and each call that we've run using their device, that person's walked out of the hospital. So, pretty good odds. The fire department tells us that they respond to calls that require CPR at least weekly. They say this won't replace regular human compressions altogether. The device won't work in every case. And while emergency responders are headed to the scene, members of the public will still be critical in getting that CPR process started whenever possible, Sue.